Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Winnet and you are tuned into Cooking with Win. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make Liberian rub grains. So for my rub grains, I'll be using vegetable oil, adobo or purple seasoning, black pepper, two vita cube, seasoning salt, the Liberian quick soda, you can call it bicarbonate. You can get this from the Liberian store. And just in case you cannot find this, you can always use baking soda to rub your grains. I have micro fish and breast snapper fish, one onion, habanero pepper, and I have different meats in here. So you can use whatever fish and meat you prefer. So back here I have the potato leaves. So to make your potato leaves, you don't need to cut it with knife. If you want to make it easier for you, you can go ahead and cut it with your knife. But this is the potato grains. It comes in a bag like this. Fresh. When you're making your rub grains, you want to use fresh grains, not the frozen grains. So I got this from the Chinese store. And I went ahead and prepped the first bag, but I'll be using this other bag to show you guys how to prep your grains. So these are the ingredients I'll be using for my rub grains today. If you want to learn how to make this meal, stay tuned and keep watching. I'll go ahead and season my fish and my meat and then I'll take the meat to the stove and cook it for about 15 minutes. So I'll add black pepper to my fish and my meat. I'll add adobo or purple seasoning. I'll be frying the fish. So if you have a deep fryer, you can use the deep fryer to fry your fish or you can fry your fish on the stove top in a pot. I'll add a little bit of seasoning salt. Once you have your seasoning on your fish, you can just mix your fish with the seasoning. Once your fish is all mixed with the seasoning, you can set this aside and add water to your meat. Once you add your water, you can add some onions to your meat just to cook it. You can also add some of your habanero pepper, the blended one. But I don't want to add my habanero pepper because it's not a lot. I want to save it for my grains. So once you have the water and your onions all pepper in here, you can take this to the stove and cook it for 15 to 20 minutes. And while this is cooking, you can go ahead and prep your grains. You want to wash your grains first. I'm going to be washing my grains three times. So you can wash your grains two to three times if you want. Once your grain is all washed, you can um, keep an extra water on it or you can drain the water. Once you're done cleaning the greens, you wanna grab one like this, break, and then this is how you prep your greens. You break this part, peel. So this part of the greens, you don't want it. That's gonna go to trash. And then you wanna break it on the other side. So you just keep doing it till you reach the end. Once you reach, once you reach the last one, you can just cut the greens, the leaves into two like this, and add it to your pan. So, you break it off the um, stem, peel, and just, you can leave the leaves whole or you can tear them into two. This is gonna take you a lot of time to complete it. And once you reach the last one, you can just break it like this. Another way you can get your greens ready, you can just break your greens half like this. That also works. This one is faster. When you do your greens like this, it's faster. And you won't spend a lot of time than for you to like Peeling the hair off of it consume a lot of time. So if you don't have time, you can just go and break it off, break, break, and tear, okay? That also works. At the end of the day, you're gonna be using the solder to break your grains, so you don't need to worry about the hair. So break. So basically, you just like cutting the grains with your hands instead of using a knife. So for the 
whichever step worked for you or whichever option worked for you you can go ahead and use that option but just follow the same step and prep the rest of the green I'll go ahead and prep the rest of my greens off camera and then I'll show you guys the next step so I have my greens in here it's all done next I'm gonna go ahead and add my solder I'll be using this you just want to sprinkle it on this on the grains and then once you have enough solder on the grains be careful not to add too much you can just go ahead and just rub. this is how you do the grains so that's why it's called rub grains because you like rubbing the grains some baking soda so once you're done rubbing your greens this is how it should look like the leaves should be broken down like this. It should look like this, okay? And once your green is all rubbed and it looks like mine, you can go ahead and add your pot to the stove, add your oil and let it heat up. So once your greens is rubbed, add your onions and then set it aside. You can go ahead and blend your pepper and um, get your fryer, your deep fryer ready for your fish. If you're gonna be using a stove top to fry your fish, you can use the same oil you're gonna be frying your greens in to fry the fish. You first wanna fry the fish before frying the greens. But if you're gonna be frying the fish in a deep fryer, you can just get your deep fryer ready now. So my oil is ready. I will test it out by adding the onion to the oil. Yep. So I'll go ahead and add my greens to the oil. pepper I'm blending have an iron pepper mix in your peppers for your greens I'll go ahead and add in one feta cube and I'll just break it add in a little bit of adobo stir it to mix them in together You want to let this fry for about 15 minutes. Check on it, stir it often, and make sure it's not burning the bottom. I have my deep fryer here, and I'm just waiting for the oil to get hot, and I'll be frying my fish. So once the 15 minutes is up, you want to check on your grains. Stir it. So I'm gonna let it fry for like seven more minutes, and after that, I'll be adding in the liquid and my meat. The oil is ready, I'll go ahead and fry my fish. Once you have your fish in here, you can just drop it in the oil. My fish is ready, I'll take it off in the oil. So I'll be checking on the greens. And I'll be adding the water or the broth on the meat into the grains and once you add your broth into the grains you also want to add your hard meat like your chicken your bony and your dry fish once you have all your hard meat in here you want to stir it to mix them into the soup taste your soup and see if it needs any seasoning if it needs seasoning go ahead and add extra seasoning if it don't just let it cook and your fish and your chicken feet will be the last cover this and let it cook for 25 minutes my fish is ready I'll be adding it to the soup now
So now that I have my fish and all my meat in here, I will just let this cook. Once the water is dry, then my soup is going to be ready. So guys, this is the rub grains. The water has dry and this is how it looks. I'll go ahead and plate it with rice and I'll show you guys. So I went ahead and plated it with rice. So this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, share, watch my other videos, and leave me a comment if you have any question or concern. I appreciate you guys for staying tuned to the end of this video, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!